Hello, good people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Erina TL. Again, all this attention that you're seeing is dedicated towards learning from big content creators that are sharing their experiences and challenges. And I'm very sure and certain that I could learn from them. This time around in the Ugandan content creators meeting, we hosted a big Ghanaian YouTuber, Nappy Briggs, N-A-P-P-I-E. And here is his story. Because I love your areas. That's how I was brought out. Understand? So that's how it all started. And I started my travels. I traveled to my first travel was to Kenya. Please let me let me put this in. When you want to travel, don't be scared. Yeah. Don't think about money. Traveling is about money, but I don't think about money. I traveled with just thirty dollars. My first travel, after buying my ticket, buying everything, I didn't know where I was going to see. Really? I didn't know anything, but I traveled with just thirty dollars. After coming out of the airport in Kenya, I was having only two dollars mm. on me. I bought a sim. I took a, I took a taxi. I paid everything, bought snacks. When I got to the hotel, like where I was going, I didn't know where I was going, but when I got to where I was going, I was like, stop here, I like it, I don't know. I was having only $2 on me. Oh, you and I just did a live video. You watched my live video when I arrived in um, Uganda. I did a live video in Kenya, same as I do everywhere, that I'm in your country, if you want to support, blah, blah, blah. And a woman from the UK called me that she has a house in um, Nairobi, I can stay there. When I was traveling to Rwanda, I was having problems because I'm not good at this city lifestyle, modernized lifestyle and all that. So I, I said, no, this is not where I, I belong to. So let me try Uganda. Because I was I didn't plan on coming to Uganda yeah. for real. It was only Rwanda for a month. But I, so I came to Rwanda and I said, this is the lifestyle I want. And this is how I can do it. So I plan to stay for seven days. Yeah. And this is it. I'm here. This is my third day. Yeah. Any, any challenges that you've had with YouTube? Ghana. Okay. Maybe we can learn from All right, sure. for us who want to go to Ghana. That's it. All right. Um, in Ghana, I heard you guys talking about internet, internet, internet. In Ghana, internet is so expensive, like extremely expensive for you. And it doesn't work as fast as what you have here. You guys are complaining it's not working fast, but in Ghana, it's super slow. Get the money, get the person to say, you put the back. That is it. A, a woman, from, a woman from UK came to live in Ghana for a month. She didn't use the internet because she couldn't afford it. It's so expensive. What? Yeah, I was showing it to her. And let me just chip this in. So I buy I buy 250 cities for a month, which is 168,840 Ugandan shillings for a month for 45k. 45 GB, sorry, for a month. It's not unlimited. So this this is also a challenge to us in, uh, in Ghana. And in Ghana, the, they recently got to know about YouTube. That was around 2019. When, yes. No, no, it was through me rather. Because when Wadamaya helped me gain whatever I wanted to gain, I started talking to people. Like people were actually getting to me. They want to do YouTube. So they, they don't actually watch YouTube in Ghana. Because one, internet is expensive. Two, they didn't know about YouTube. So this is also another challenge I went through in Ghana. People don't watch YouTube. And up to now, when you post a video, few people will watch you. A handful here from Ghana. So right now my my audience from Ghana is like seven percent. And my highest audience is from the US, which is forty percent. And um, followed by UK and down here. So yeah. Abby, I want to ask you something travel related. Okay. When you are traveling. Alright. Like these countries in Africa, where you've been, All right. what do you shoot with? You shoot with a camera. Okay. Like which type of camera do you use? I use. Um, did I bring it? Yeah, I have G7X. If I'm doing border. Ah, okay, okay. If I'm you doing know. border. I wanted to ask how you deal with the attention if you have a big camera. But if you. No, I'm, I'm telling you because I can't travel with this. Yeah. If I'm using border, because um, problems at the border, it'd be like you're coming to take bad things like you're a journalist, you're a bad terrorist or something. So this is, it will be like, this is personal. Yeah. Okay, it's personal, I can go through. Because I came to Uganda through Rwanda and I went through this and I, I didn't get any problem. Yeah, so with, with traveling through borders, I use this back. When I'm flying, I get a big one. Yeah. Do you guys have meetings like we do here? Okay, we actually have meetups for drink up. 
not for discussion. <laughs> you gotta really enjoy us. Wow. Yeah. 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 There's a the time you guys went uh, live. Yeah. There's a time you guys were doing a, a house party. Yeah, that was a house party. It was just a drink. In Ghana, we don't do discussions like this. It's it's kind of difficult. When <laughs> it's it's like when you're trying to educate someone in Ghana in a group, it's their perception that you are all knowing. That's some kind of thing in Ghana right now. Now you know, that like, you've attended hours, we should do we see you setting up something for the same in Ghana. What he's I trying to so. tell you is, in Ghana, people have a different ah. perspective towards this own. That was like, oh, man, you know, you're you know, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. But they would rather text you behind. They would rather text you behind, <laughs> behind the scene and ask you, oh, please, how do you do this? How do you, okay. But when you are trying to talk to them in a group, they don't like it. They feel like they are too inferior and you are too yeah. superior yeah. over them. Yeah. So that's, that's some kind of perception there. All right? So I, I personally have taken about five people and um, they started from zero and they've been monetized in two, in two months. Like all these three people, they've been monetized in two months. So it's kind of hard work, perseverance, collaborations, collab with people for them to mingle with the subscribers. So, um, and another challenge in Ghana is traveling around Ghana. So if someone has, like if I have a fan here, the person will see that I don't do much in Ghana. Because traveling from Ghana to Uganda, it's more cheaper than me doing the whole of like five cities in Ghana. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Because transportation is very expensive in Ghana. Ghana is so expensive. Don't let anyone lie to you. You're telling us you don't come to Ghana. No, no, you should come. No, it's should. so nice. You will love it. But transportation, certain things that you find so cheap here. He's actually it's actually telling us to African our country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so it's so expensive. Like let's say traveling from Ghana to Togo by bus is just three dollars. Mm -hmm. It's just three dollars. From so, Ghana to Togo. Togo. Really? It's just three dollars. What? Good. But traveling from Ghana, like uh, a city where I live, uh -huh. yeah, I live in Accra, to a different city, mm -hmm. it's like twelve dollars. You're still in Ghana. You're still in Ghana, but you're paying more than if you're going to another country. Very good. So. Traveling in intercities in Ghana is so expensive and um, people don't really know much about YouTube so like we are actually, more, more, more of the days we are actually affected with police and all that thinking you are a scammer, you are doing internet work, so you are a hoop boy, blah 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 so that's like they are not getting to know they are not getting to know about YouTube so we are trying our best to bring YouTube to the world yeah. Before we wrap it up Roger Marovos yesterday said something that uh, how about we have a, uh, an office as a group, a space, some sort of a space. Maybe you're in town, you need to meet another YouTuber, collaborate, you come, it's our space. You understand? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm.